So great was the wrath okay, of Belial. Okay, hello, welcome back. He came we are the in the game again. The beast, um, at the first, Belial's this game will always lag. So please forgive me. But uh, I gotta tell you, I'm so addicted to this game right now. So much so better than I thought it would be. Uh, and I, I'm just, I just took a shower, so I can't wear my glasses because they're, well. Greasing. Um, okay, so there are a bunch of things here. Um, this is the, well, not the marketplace, I labeled that the other thing. This is the trading place. Let's just call, call it the trading place. Um, so there are a bunch of NPCs here. He, uh, you can kind of tell what they are selling based on their on their table here. So he's about food. Uh, this guy is about armor mostly and shields. Well, you can't really do any shields in this game. Herbs, weapons over there, uh, and this guy, I think it's a general trader, he also displays goods here. Um, Sarah. Who says things like that? How's business? When the paladins came, I first thought that it was a good business opportunity. But they let Herod make their weapons, and neither Hakka nor I make even one gold piece off them. Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. It's only a small consolation that the paladins are paying my hotel bill. And that's the other thing. You can sleep in the hotel for free these days. Let me show you... Uh, show me your wares. And get into the wear here. So, she basically sells some good items and some bad items. Uh, that's my cash. <laughs> So, uh, there we go. That's Fine terrible. sword. This is actually kind of good. I like the wolf's tooth, too. but it's not the best thing ever. Warhammer, longsword, stone, stone. Fine best. I can't actually use that much here, but this one is actually kind of good. Talks too much. I think I'm gonna take that. Um, let's sell some things here. This rusted axe, it's just a bad ratio. Twin, uh, 30 strength to 30 damage is not the greatest, or not the best ratio at all. I will keep the wolf's knight. Um, why am I not using that club? And he works all I should probably use that club. So let's sell these Don't tell this to heavy branches and the daggers because they are useless. Yeah. What the fuck? That's terrible. Hope you heard that. <laughs> well, it's an open secret. What are you doing? You Sneaking under the table, aren't you? Little catty cat. He better shut up. Uh, well, I can't sell her the clothes, but I don't want to actually. No, um, I'm just gonna leave it at here, I think. And now I'm gonna equip the club, because why the hell am I not using it? Where did I get that from, even? It's such a, such a good weapon. Show me. Uh, the still let's sell that one. And I think I'm using a short bow already, so I'm gonna sell the other bow too. Okay. I uh, could ask her what the problem is, but I don't really care. Right? Don't tell this to anyone. Uh, he sells, in addition to her. I'm Zurus, master of potions. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've come to the right place. Well, That's not she basically I mean. does that thing. Um, Show me your wares. Like uh, I just received some new potions. My guest, Master Darren, the fighter magician, brought them along from the monastery. Really? How interesting. So, yeah, he sells potion. potions and a bunch of spells, too. Uh, I was actually lying when I said he was selling uh, herbs. Um, so, the, a really interesting part here is this, summon demon. This is really good later in the game. You can basically, there are some boss fights that will require one of these. Um, the rest is kind of okay. The Awake Golem is also kind of nice. And uh, notice that These this doesn't take that much money either, so kind of good if you compare it to These something like five. Times. Oh, require five mana. Everybody Never noticed that. Anyway, but the big thing here is he ch sells potions. I will probably not do that now, because I need some money himself. first. He's also most likely po play, um, saying... I am Hacken, the weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days. Especially when venturing outside of the city walls. 
show me your wares. Show me your wares. He sells some weapons too. Um, sword sword. It's short. Weapon protection. This is actually kind of good. Leather belt. Um, this is a better option in general than to just go with belt. Uh, with the normal belt. Uh, with my strength belt, I mean. Um, because this will get me 5 protection with the lever armor. So I'm actually thinking about buying that, but I can't right now. I've gotta do some more farming. Um, let's actually let's actually get right on that. Um, first of all, there was this ring, ring of life. You can equip two rings at a time, I believe. Uh, this is Rengaru. Uh, wonder. Yeah, he was involved. This is Kantar here. You still owe me a favor. It is time to pay your debt. What do you want? I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me. But she has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison, you pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. What will happen if I refuse to do that? That would be truly stupid of you. Because you see, I know that you're an escaped convict. If that gets around, it could do considerable harm to your situation in the city. All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to foist the letter on her? Let her show you her wares, and while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city, so don't try to play me for a fool. So, I've got to go. Suit yourself. Here's the thing with this guy and Sarah. You can't win either way. Um, if you put the put the letter into Sarah's pocket, she will uh, or he will then take over her stand for now. But eventually, he will take over Sarah's stand. Uh, no, Sarah will take back her stand, and you are fucked at that point. Um, if you get, go to Andrew and say that Contar is the thief, he will then land in prison, but eventually take over Sarah's, pr Sarah's uh, stand by its own, which then you are fucked again. But I think there's a way to get back to the original situation with Sarah standing there. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna basically get hand him out to prison. Because I don't like that guy either. I just got, he got me a pass and that's all I really wanted from him. Um, you could have avoided all of that if you would just do another way, but that's the best way by far to do it like this. Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? Um, he is the paladin thing. Um, he is basically like the judge right now and you can basically say, I want to relax the bounty for a criminal. I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Kantor is trying to get rid of Sarah. Kanthor the merchant is trying to get rid of Sarah. Sarah? The weapons merchant in the marketplace? I was supposed to foist a letter on Sarah, which claimed that she's supplying weapons to Onar. I see. I shall gladly pay the bounty for that bastard. He is already as good as behind bars. Okay, so basically I got myself some gold here. Uh, I could tell... Uh, I'm gonna talk to him in a later time. I just wanted the gold. As you are probably well aware. Um, what else could we do? I think now I can. He's obviously gone. I can now tell Sarah that I just saved her, which I think she rewards with a weapon. Let's we'll see. Ah, there you are again. Uh, Kanthar was trying to trick you and to get your booth for himself, but I've turned him over to the city guard. Then you've made an enemy of a dangerous man. I've known the bastard for a long time, and he's always wanted my place for himself. Take this weapon as a token of my gratitude. Pirates, shit. What's the problem with the farmers? They refuse to deliver their goods. Now that the ship's no longer coming, 
The city depends entirely on the supplies provided by the farmers, of course. An owner, the largest farmer, has hired mercenaries to protect his farm from the city guards. Otherwise, they'd simply snatch the goods for themselves. But the mercenaries don't just guard Onar's farm. They come as far as the small farms outside of town to intimidate the farmers. I saw them as I was passing Akil's farm. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes now. Where will I find Akil's farm? If you go out of the east gate here and follow the road to the right, you'll come to a stairway. It leads up to Akil's farm. But I wouldn't go there now. The mercenaries are certainly still there. Okay, that's her storyline gone, for now. Um, gotta get some more gold. This guy. What are you doing here? I wouldn't know how that is any of your business. Get lost! Uh, let's say for now. <laughs> oh. What are you doing here? I wouldn't know. Okay, so I can't talk to him yet, but Beltram. Welcome, stranger. My name is Baltrop. Have you come to stock up on food? I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. I don't have much in stock right now, but I'll be getting a new delivery soon. Have you got a job for me? No, I already have an errand boy. Try the other merchants. Okay. Show me your wares. Uh, what do we have here? An amulet of life. Uh, that's not that good. But, no, actually, it's not that bad either. Uh, so it's... Oh, yeah, okay. And then it was this guy. Totally forgot. Jora. Enos, be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. Somebody stole from you? I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduced himself as Ringaroo, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days. And every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment and my purse was gone. I could get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? I want part of the gold as a reward. First, see if you can get my purse back. Then, we'll talk about your reward. Uh... How much gold was in that purse? Fifty gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So, think of something. I shall. Okay. Um... Go ahead and save some more. Hello, Ringar. Jora says you've got his money. Damn it! I'm out of here! That's actually a good thing, because he now runs away. <laughs> actually, if I would pull my weapon right now, people would react to that. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, people would say, oh, why, why are you pulling that weapon here? Uh, what's wrong with you, man? Don't, don't start some shit. Okay, gotcha, man. Gotcha. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Huh? You stole from Jorah in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... Uh... And now, you tell me who you are. I'm nothing but a poor wretch, trying to make ends meet one way or another. Well, what else can I do? I can't find a job in town. All right, I see. Spare me your whining. Uh... You had better hand over Jorah's gold now. <laughs> Here's the dough, man! But now let me go! I'll never do it again! I should turn you into the militia. 
What else do you want? I've got nothing left. Let me go, man. Uh, I'll see to it that you are put behind bars. Oh, I don't want any more trouble. If you think that's what you should do, then be my guest. Hey, be careful, though. My friends are not gonna like what you're pulling here. I know, I know, but that's not a big deal. That's actually really quiet. <laughs> so let's put him behind bars. Um, we've got a hundred gold. That's actually kind of good for that quest. Will take the supreme command of our militia. Yeah, supreme command of our militia. Uh, the wolf guy, you can train up your weapon skills from that fellow. Let's talk to Andre though. Uh, collect the bounty. I've come to collect the bounty. Rengaru stole from the merchant Jora. He tried to skedaddle, but I caught him. Good. My men have already picked him up. He won't be stealing from anyone else in the near future. Here is your money. Okay, got some money. Uh, let's hand over the money. Actually, let's check in the prison first. What do you want here? I want to see the prisoners. Go ahead, but I'll stay away too long. Understood? Sure. Uh, so you can basically talk to them here. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. We will discuss this later. Now get lost, I want to rest. Hmm. I cannot talk to Rangara here, for now. I thought you would get experience if you talked to them here. But anyway, no big deal. Uh, city guard, city city guard. Okay, uh, let's send him over his gold, and then I think we're gonna go sleeping and shit. Harkon is already leaving. Um, which is actually not good, because I want to build a, buy the bailed. About the thief. About the thief? Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? Yeah, I caught him alright. He's gonna cool his heels in jail for a while. What about my gold? Here's the 50 gold pieces he stole from you. Inos be praised. There is still justice in the city. I want part of the gold as a reward. If it's gold you want, then hunt down the thieves and collect the bounty from Lord Andre. Now, I must get back to my customers. You don't have any customers, you're now going to sleep. Ah, uh, uh, well, he's a douche. He's just a douche. Uh, let's go and sleep. That's that's the crappiest texture I've ever seen. But anyway. Ah, customer, what can I do for ya? I'm looking for a room. Ah, you're in the right place then. What does it cost to spend the night? Absolutely nothing. The paladins are responsible for the lodging of all travelers. So can I stay the night here for free? Yes, yes. Just go up the stairs. We still have one or two beds free. On it. Uh, let's sleep the night. And there's so much to do in the city. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, bad. Uh, till next morning. Slept well and well, well rested. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get citizens or a citizen in this city. First of all, we're gonna buy the belt though. Um. Once we, are, once we have done that, we're gonna go and try to get citizen of the city. Um, and this will re uh, mean... well, we'll see. Uh, show me your wares. Show me. I couldn't actually tell you that already. Uh, this will mean that we need to get a job within the city. Oh, I totally forgot to show you what weapon she gave me. I think it's a pirate something. Yeah, it's actually kind of okay. It's a laugh a lot. I'm actually thinking about selling that. I think I will. Okay, let's equip this belt. Oh, it has to be equipped first. Old game, old game. Extra life or extra sh protection? I'm actually thinking about that. 
You can always rebuy because their inventory is permanent. So if I sell them something like that, that's not what I heard. Uh, right here. Okay, I can't really buy that all that much from that. This amulet is actually kind of good, but I think I'm actually gonna go with this amulet over the other one. Anyway, though. He can't keep anything to himself. So, um, city guard. Let's try and get some get citizen of the city. Um, there are three people you could join as being a citizen, or, well, as to get a job. <laughs> Uh, be an apprentice, actually. You are not and really Belly getting a job. The uh, first one is uh, Constantino. You may have heard of him already. He is the alchemist. The you can basically learn alchemy from him. But I think you can do that anyway and later, so it doesn't really matter. This is the blacksmith. This is the one, spoiler alert, that I'm gonna join because it's the most... It's the best, basically, because there is a bug here. Um, it's, uh, it's a bug. But then again, it's not really one, so I don't know. It's kind of hey, you problem. wait! Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here, we found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. No, you've got to be mistaken. Everything's fine with me. Whatever you say, stranger. But if that happens to be your mug after all, and if you have some problems, keep them outside of this town. Things are difficult enough here as it is. And strangers who bring trouble into the city don't stay here long. I hope I make myself clear. Okay. Um, let's talk to these guys here. And then the third one we'll see soon. Constantino. What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. He's actually a weird fellow. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. He doesn't really want to get an apprentice. Show me your wares. He does have some stuff here, though. Um, basically, just ingredients. Um, I want to sign up with one of the other. Ma you have come to it. Hmm. As far as I'm concerned. Oh yeah, that's. He's basically just like, okay, man, I don't care. <laughs> uh, this guy is a little bit more different, or this guy is a little bit. Hey! I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city, and then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice. Provided the other masters agree. Okay, um, you can talk to him and say that the arc thing is a little bit too heavy. And he will give you a different option. But 
I would actually recommend go with the arc uh, thing. And there's a reason for that. I'm not telling you um, anything new. This is the other one. This is the hunter. There's also a glitch with him, but I'm not going to glitch him. Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Basper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Hey, what brings you to Carinus? I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. So let's learn some... Uh... What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner, and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay you. I, on the other hand, am in urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. Uh, yeah. Mm. You get the approval sign. Will I get your approval to sign up with it? Uh, all right. You shall have my approval, but on one condition. Work for me, at least for a short time. That way, you can find out for yourself whether you like my craft or not. And who knows? Maybe you'll end up liking it, and you'll stay with me. If you're good enough to sign on with me, you're also good enough for all others here. Okay, uh... What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Or... Uh, you can start with one of the other masters, if that's what you really want. Okay, learn to... Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen, it's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. Then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. Okay. Um, show me. Something of note is that he will sell you now bows and arrows and shit. Um, there's a glitch where you can get a uh, get a well a skin from an animal that. and you can basically resell it. Like he will, uh, or you can trade in the. Uh, um, the skin and then he will have that in his wearer inventory you can just buy it back from him and then trade it in again and in the end you will make profit and um, the sea release actually the land. you will get experience and too I think um, and creatures. yeah you will make profit in the end I think you will, will get around 100 gold per thing but I f they might have fixed that already because that was a known glitch for a while I won't tell her but I'm not gonna take on his apprentice apprenticeship. Actually, do you get my experience from that? I'm wondering. I don't think so, though. Again, this is a glitch, and I'm not into glitch abusing that often. But I will abuse one or two myself. See how much damage this another thing does. The guards will now affect me. Note that I am taking way less damage than I. Did earlier. Oh god. This is the thing that they can enter. Kind of Alright. So much for you, filthy beast. Um well that didn't go so well. But anyway, I didn't get any experience of that. That's really bad. But then again, blood flies are the worst. Uh blue elder. Get some shit here. There are a bunch of uh, herbs around this well. You just can take. Uh, rusty axe. 
Oh god. Too many. Just get more. Ah, giant red. Fucking red. Let's heal. Get over here, man. Thank god. I think you can peel off their skin. No, you can't. Okay, well, that's actually why I learned the skinning trade, but. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I, you would get their skin here. But you won't. Hello, giant red. 